Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a graduation cap design with Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I've opened Illustrator, and now I'm going to go to Create New. We'll go to Print, and then we'll go to Letter and Create. Okay, so to create the first part of the graduation graphic, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get the rectangle tool, which is right over here. And I'll draw a perfect square by holding shift. Okay, I've got a white fill and a black background. You can get to that by just hitting D on your keyboard. And now I'm gonna switch those with shift X. So now it's a black rectangle, I mean a black square with a white outline. So I'm gonna hit X to bring the stroke to the front and then I'll delete it with the backslash or question mark key. You can also do that right down here by hitting none. Okay, now I wanna rotate this. So I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard and I'll hold shift and just drag from out here until it snaps into place at 45 degree angle. Okay, so this is going to make the top part of the graduation cap, but we need to kind of squash this down and when we do it, it doesn't really work the way that I want from just clicking and dragging. And that's because our bounding box is lining up with the square itself. So to get a bounding box that comes out here like this, we'll need to make a compound path. So to do that, just go to Object, Compound Path, Make. And now you can see our bounding box gives us a different look, which is really nice. Now we can just take this middle node and bring it down like this to make a perfect graduation cap top. Okay, so now we need to make the bottom part that kind of goes over your head. So to do that, I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard, which will bring us to the pen tool right over here. And I'm going to make it a little lower just so I don't interact on accident with this, with this shape. So I'll click out here. I'm gonna just click and drag and then I'm going to click right back on this point and come right down about here. Now I'll click back on that point and then come up here and hold shift and then complete the shape. Okay, so I'll hit V to get back on my selection tool and I'll pull this down a little bit from the uh, graduation cap top. So now we'll copy this with command C and I'm gonna paste in front with Command F, that is Control F on a PC, and then I'm gonna hit O. O will bring us to the Reflect tool, which is right over here. And then we've got an anchor point here, but I want the anchor point to be here so it'll reflect perfectly. So to do that, I'm gonna hold Option or Alt on a PC and click right on that line. And this will bring up the Reflect options. So we want vertical and we'll say, okay. And they look perfectly lined up, but if they're not, um, just use your A tool, that is your direct selection tool, and draw a box around all the points that are in the middle there. So you should have two up here and two down here. Ours are really lined up well, so it really looks like two instead of four. Then we want to average these. So to do that, go to Object, Path, Average. You can also click Shift-Command-J on your keyboard or shift control J on a PC. And now the axis that we want is vertical. We want them to line up vertically. So I'm going to choose that and we'll say, okay. Now nothing changed, but it might've been just a little bit off and we can't tell. So let's come down here to Pathfinder and unite these. If you don't have your Pathfinder window open, just go to Window, Pathfinder. Then we'll choose the first shape mode, which is Unite. And this should make one shape instead of two. You should not have a line in the middle. And that's why we did the average to make sure there was no space between these. Okay, it's looking a little weird. So I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard and I'm gonna option drag from the side just to kind of make that a little more like a graduation cap. Now we'll click and drag this up I'm going to select both of these and we'll come down to our, our line window. You can get there from window align also and choose a horizontal align center. 
So we are perfectly aligned now. I'm going to hit Z and zoom in a little bit. And this looks a little bit weird to me, so I'm going to pull these out just a little bit. Click back on this and pull it out too. Okay, so we have the bottom part of the cap, the top part of the cap, and now we need to make the little tassel. So to do this, I'm going to use a brush. So I'll hit B on my keyboard. We'll come over to the brushes and I'm going to get on the fly out and go to open brush library, artistic and artistic calligraphic. And then we can choose one of these round ones. I think I'll go with a five point round right here. And now I can just draw a little tassel. Now how smooth it is really depends on what your options are set at. So if we double click the brush, um, I like to keep it here or all the way smooth. And that way you can draw and it just kind of smooths out whatever you do. I'm going to increase my stroke just a little bit. And then I think I just want to put a little um, triangle at the edge here. So I'll hit P to get my pen tool. And I'll just draw a little triangle. I'm going to switch these. And then kind of rotate it so it looks more natural. And then I like to add a little ball right here. So I'll hit L on my keyboard to get to my ellipse tool. And I'll just add it in right there. We'll click and move it over. And I think I like that. So now let's add some text in here. I'm going to hit T to get my text tool. That's also right up here. I'm going to click once and add the word grad. And then I'll come up here to my selection tool. Now I'll grab a handle and pull it up while holding shift. Now I'm going to change my font. I really like the font feel goodness. And I think I'll make it the sans version. So I need to change it to white. First I'll move it. And then I'll come up here to my color and choose white. I'll get on an edge and hold shift and make it just a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to option and now I'm going to hold option or alt on a PC and drag that to make a copy of the text. I'll hit T again to get on my text tool. And I'm just going to get in there and double click to select the whole word. And now I'll type the word squad, grad squad. We'll get on our selection tool and just click on an edge and drag holding shift. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. We'll just kind of center this up. And we'll maybe make it a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to hit B on my keyboard to get back to my five point round brush. And I'm just going to draw some little cute glyphs along the sides of the word grad. Let's try that one again. I'll hit V to get my selection tool and just move these up a little bit. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Okay, and I think we're done. We have our grad squad graduation cap graphic. All right, I hope you enjoyed making this graduation graphic. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. You'll get a notification every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.